uh, give these guys a little bit of a garden tour here. We've got a cherry tomato that grew right out of the composter here, right out of the little slot. And uh, it's been doing pretty good. It, it literally doesn't have any real soil. It hasn't, uh, I haven't watered it at all. I just want, just let it go and let's just to see what it would do. And it's thriving. This is a, another old composter. Um, the lid wouldn't work on it right anymore. So instead of throwing it away, I decided to turn it into a raised bed. In the back here, I have two winter squashes that I don't really know what they are. There's some store-bought one that I purchased. And then up front here is one called Black Fuchsia. It's absolutely delicious. Plants are a little bit behind because we had kind of a cool summer. This is a cherry, another cherry tomato, but this one came up as a weed. And I planted it in a fabric bag here. These fabric bags are okay. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I own them, so I use them. What is interesting about them is these tomato will actually grow roots all the way through. And they'll, the little hair roots will get through the fabric and into the soil down below. So that's kind of cool. I have another fabric bag right here, and this is a plum tomato, a processing tomato. You'll see a lot more of these here coming up. These are peppers. This is a sweet pepper, and that's the first one of those I've gotten. Look at that. And this is a winter pepper that I had since last year, and it's starting to produce peppers now. I planted it in this new bed. I have a video about this, and I do have a brand new bed here. These are sunchokes. This is this is uh, my summer one of my summer squashes. This is called Odessa squash. These are really good and they hold up the cooking. They don't get all mushy when you cook them. I like these a lot. So back behind it, I have uh, uh, Roma beans, a type of Bosch bean, and this was a garlic bed. They're doing really good. And then I have a banana pepper plant up front here that I moved here just the other day. Um, it looks like it's um, taking hold now. It's doing pretty good. Um, it was getting crowded out where it was, so I decided I would move it. Okay, we'll go over here to the peppers. So this is another banana pepper plant, and it's doing pretty good. There's quite a few peppers in there. And we'll go right next door to it. And I got a lot of jalapenos. Look at all that. A lot of jalapenos on this plant. It's doing really, really nice. It's got a lot more in the making. Yeah, lots of jalapeno peppers. Um, I've had some troubles with some rodents in here, so I got a trap set. These are cayenne peppers. And this thing is just loaded down with cayenne pepper. Looking forward to that. I got these all at um, at a grocery outlet. All of these plants here came from the grocery outlet store, which is kind of interesting. I've got four different types of eggplants here. And they've set lots of flowers, but I haven't got any fruit set yet. Not sure what the deal is with that. Uh, marigold here in the back. Marigold's right here. Marigold's back there. Some companion planting. This is uh, another cherry tomato, but it came up as a weed from last year. Forget what it's called. It called I think it was called Super Sweet or something like that. This is another jalapeno pepper plant I just put back in this spot just the other day. It was getting crowded out, so I decided I would move it. Looks like it's doing pretty good. And I've got my, these are uh, cabbages for the fall. Got a lot of cabbages going on. And then this is another uh, cherry tomato here. That again came up as a weed. So we'll see what happens. 
This leaf plant here is over two years old now. It's in full bloom. Got a couple of fennel here with some more basil. I'm going to go ahead and let this fennel go to seed. And it looks like it's starting to bloom. Look at that. Exactly what I wanted. So it's, it's sent up its uh, flower stock now. And we're going to let this one bloom. Both these bloom. Let's see here. So that we get some fennel seed. This is uh, another basil here. And we'll swing around here. We've got uh, cucumbers are coming in. Lots of cucumbers. We'll swing around here. These are called uh, light greens. In fact, I did a video on repairing one of these uh, cucumbers when I first bought it. There's the repair right there. And uh, that thing is just pushing cucumbers out like mad now. Lots of cucumbers. Oh, there's a nice one back there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's a nice cucumber. I'll have to come out here and there's another cucumber. Nice. So we got some dill kind of planted in the corner back there. Got some climb or these are bush beans. These are a purple bush bean. Uh, these were peas here before, but now they're bush beans. Now we get into the tomatoes. We got a ton of tomatoes back here. These are a plum processing style tomato. I've been growing these tomatoes for the last few years in, in these uh, half barrels here. Um, they're doing absolutely fantastic. Kind of swing around here. Got lots and lots of tomatoes. Lots and lots of tomatoes. Tons of tomatoes. But I've been uh, saving these seeds. I have a video of seed saving, tomato seed saving 101 that I've been uh, saving these seeds for quite a few years now. And every year I save them, they get a little bit better. Let's see here. We've got another type of pepper. It's kind of like a jalapeno, but it's purple. I forget what it's called. But yeah, this thing's getting loaded down. And this one's getting pretty good. I've interplanted basil with these just because I had room and, you know, companion planting and all that. I got a bunch of basil here. I got one little marigold popping out right over here. And then this is a sweet pepper, but it hasn't produced any. No, oh, yeah, there's one right there. So it's starting to produce too with more dill or, uh, excuse me, more basil. I got my climbing beans, some of my climbing beans here. There's a uh, yellow faced bumblebee. Look at that. Anyway, these are climbing beans. And uh, with my homemade trellis, and it's doing pretty good. I haven't seen any flowers yet, but I don't think it's going to be much longer. In fact, that might be, you know, they're coming along. It won't be much longer. Oh, they're getting up to the top of the trellis now. I'm over here. I got some more climbing beans going. Uh, got uh, This is a rosemary plant that I just put in this year. And then I planted basil all the way around it. So I actually have Thai basil here and your standard sweet basil. I have some onions here that I put in the ground. Uh, there were leftover onions from last year, small ones, and uh, I decided I would just let them bloom. They've been absolutely fantastic for the pollinators. I highly recommend that if you have some, of the, like, they, they're biannual, so you, if you have something like a small one left over from the year before, go ahead and just let that sucker go, and you'll get these beautiful flowers. And the bees love them, and you'll end up with a bunch of seeds too. So that's not a bad deal. I got another Odessa squash here. It's got a nice squash back in there. And this one here is 
I'm going to take, take that squash off and have it for dinner tonight. The fall lettuce is coming up. I will kind of thin this out as it, as it needs to be and kind of stick different lettuces in different places. But these are my fall seedlings for the lettuce. This is another one of those uh, plum tomatoes here. Another plum tomato. And this is uh, some broccoli that I just planted. And we'll go over here to the flowers. You got to have flowers planted, so I I've, uh, have some spots just for flowers. Now this is a lupin that's gotten some disease. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down today. My sage, thyme, different oreganos, marigolds. Now my wife is going to make some kind of a drink out of these marigolds, so they got their own pot. Another little flower pot here. The bees love this thing. Whatever this thing is, is basically done now. I'm going to chop it down. This is a Mexican herb. We got a uh, parsley, some kind of an onion that I planted uh, years and years and years ago. And it's all gone to flower and seed and, and stuff. It'll come back next year. And another flower pot. We'll head over to the aquaponics now. So this is the aquaponic garden. Growing more of those plum tomatoes. And as usual, the biggest tomatoes are in the aquaponic. These things are just going to be, I mean, these are going to be nice big tomatoes. Got tons and tons of tomatoes in here. It's doing really well. We'll take a peek in with the fish. There's the fish tank. There's the fish. Tomatoes are growing all the way in the back here. And then this is my little flower meadow. I just had a spot underneath the tree that uh, I wanted to grow some flowers, so I just threw a bunch of seeds in here. And now I have all kinds of flowers going on in here to attract the pollinators. And that's pretty much the look around. You got something out of the video and enjoyed this. Like, share, and subscribe.